Greetings, everybody. Turn your King James Bible to Isaiah. We're going to read chapter 62. We are winding down the Isaiah commentary series. There are 66 books in the Bible and 66 chapters in the book of Isaiah. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Verse 1, For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp, that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name. Christians, anyone? And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. More on this later. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate. But thou shalt be called Hepzibah, and thy land Beulah. Anybody knows what that means? I'm very, very interested. I tried to look it up from the Bible and couldn't find anything. Uh, For the Lord delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. Verse 5. For as a young woman, I'm sorry, for as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. And give him no rest till he establish, and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord hath sworn by his right hand, and by the arm of his strength, Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies, and the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine, for the which thou hast labored. But they that have gathered it shall eat it, and praise the Lord, and they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the people, cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, say ye to the daughter of Zion, behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, His reward, ah, behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And thou shalt be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. All right, let's take a look at some New Testament witnesses. In verse 1, it says, For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. Now, what is the 62nd book in the Bible? Well, that would be the 1 John, 
you've got a first, second, and third John. All right, so in first John chapter one, in verse five, this then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Huh. Isaiah 62 verse 1, I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. Ah. Then this is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanseth us, cleanseth us from all sin. Okay, back to Isaiah 62, 2. And the Gentiles, which is the same word for nations, and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory, and thou shalt be called by a new name, a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Okay, and what is that? How about 1 John chapter 3 and verse 1? Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God, that we should be called the sons of God. Now, in Revelation 2.17, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name a new name, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. Revelation 3.12 Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down from heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. And I will write upon him my new name. Okay, Isaiah 62, 11. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. You know, there's a lot of prophecy in the uh, Old Testament. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Ha! Huh, the Bible talks about the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Hmm. Where is this reward? How about Revelation 11 and 18? And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that should, that they should be judged. And thou, thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And here's our final witness, Revelation 22 and verse 12. And behold, I come quickly. See, when Christ comes, that's our salvation, our resurrected bodies. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. All right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor. 
All one God, world without end. In Jesus' name, amen.